Most of the anti-peace forces that had invaded Katrigal have been defeated. However, a number of rebels have escaped. It is believed that they are looking to converge with other units. And so, I'm going to need your unit's help, Naval Captain Dietfried Bougainvillea. Why come to the Navy with this, and not the Army? Hmm. As I believe you already know, this peace signing ceremony is an important event that will affect the future of this continent. I would just like to make sure that we are prepared for any unexpected situations. Hmm. And now that the Army Special Forces have disbanded, we will be short-handed in an emergency. But fortunately, your unit is still fully operational. In fact, the Navy is perfectly suited for this plan. Hmm. So, with Gilbert gone, you want to put the burden on his older brother instead, huh? Uh, hmm? There is no doubt that the opposition will be there to try and disrupt the peace negotiations. Do you have any ideas about what they're planning to do? In three days, the completed transcontinental railroad will be carrying envoys and civilians, including dolls, from Distory to Garderick as a symbol of peace. I sense potential risks here. We must avoid another war at all costs. You are free to use any units in the vicinity. You have to stop them. Peace, huh? <laughs> Are you sure, young lady? You want me to drop you off in Distory? If I can stop to refuel, I can take you all the way to Leiden, you know. Considering what you've just been through. Well, let me know if you change your mind. shows just how important this mission must be. <sighs> so our job will be to accompany this special envoy to Garderick and take part in the public, uh, peace treaty exchange? Yes. Once that's over, it will finally put an end to the war. Uh, excuse me. You must be with CH Postal Company. That's right. Allow me to present our upcoming schedule. Our ship departed the port of Leiden at 1100 hours. We will travel north up the Rintler River via Nahahar, using the canals from Matchtig, which schedules us to arrive at Distry and Extreme at 1200 hours tomorrow. There, we will have you and the special envoy board a designated train that is waiting for you. We're going to take you part of the way by ship to ensure your safety. Thank you. The president of your company didn't come with you? Retiring from service as soon as the war ended, what a disgrace. And who are you? C captain Bougainvillea! Bougainvillea? But that's the name of Violet's major. I'm his older brother. What is it that you want? Leave us. Sir! My mission is to protect you until we reach our destination, and ensure that the signing ceremony is a success. Are you the only civilian? Yes. And as for Violet, she won't be coming. Well, I think that's for the best. In any case, is she still working as a doll? That sorry excuse for a human being. Just hold on! It's true. Uh, she might be flawed, but she's still trying her best. In fact, there are even people she saved with her letters. What? You see, Violet writes wonderful letters. They go directly to a person's heart. Her letters allow people to be true to themselves. Did you make it in time? Yes, sir. The 1,041 Garderick soldiers who escaped from the POW camp have arrived. Thank you for traveling all this way. Sir, 
I am grateful to you, Brigadier General Merklov, not only for saving me in Intense, but also for rescuing me from the POW camp. Intense, huh? I'll never forget... that humiliation. Also, our diversionary tactics were successful. The Southern Fools likely believe we were wiped out in Katrigal. Excellent. We will take this opportunity to destroy transportation between the North and the South, and use the confusion to retake Intense. That's the railroad. From here, you can follow it all the way to Leiden, Shaflik, you know? This railroad also allows food and resources to enter my country. It brings peace to the North and the South. Peace. That's right. So we won't have to fight anymore. Then I'm gonna be busy with all the extra work coming in. Who knows? I might even get to deliver one of your letters again. be back soon. Fires broke out along the railway yesterday, sir. Do you know where that happened? I'll have them check. They've made their move. The Grandeza Bridge. This was the final piece to complete the connection between the North and South. Tell the Brigadier General, our infiltration was successful. Affirmative, General. Why aren't we moving yet? Apparently there was a fire nearby. <sighs> Mr. Vandal! Please let me down near that train! Don't be crazy! But my co-worker is on that train! Please, you must! <clears throat> All right, hang on! They've confirmed at least seven fires since yesterday. It looks like they're all near the railroad, and they're only getting closer. Is it the anti-peace faction? Yes. They will be targeting our train next. Send out an advanced recon unit to scout out the enemy along the tracks. Understood, sir. I will send them out right away. Violet! What are you doing here? Catalea, can you tell me where you are headed? Huh? We're going to the peace signing ceremony with Garderick. There were signs of explosions nearby. In which case, I'm coming too. Oh. You can't. You have to get back to the office. But I... What the hell are you doing here? I happened to see you on my way back from my mission in Katrigal. Did you say Katrigal? During my mission, I saw remnants of the Garderick army. Are you sure? I am. Tell me everything you know. Violet, no! <gasps> From the air, I saw traces of explosions and nine smoke pillars. Just as I thought, their plan is to delay our train and attack us directly. Once we confirm it is safe up ahead, we will depart as soon as possible. Now get off my train! But if there is danger, I can help! Captain, give me your orders! So even now, 
You're still a tool who only wants to be given her orders. No! I'm not... not anymore. Just go! We have a report from Captain Bougainvillea. There have been explosions around the railroad believed to be the work of the anti-peace faction. They seem to be targeting the train carrying the special envoy. He must protect the envoy no matter what. Ready forces to deploy. And contact the surrounding nations. We cannot allow this to turn into another war. Brigadier General Merkulov! I have a message from the advanced forces. Hmm. A peace envoy is aboard a special train that left from Distory, and Isidore succeeded in infiltrating it. Oh. We will attack the train and destroy these peace talks. After our departure, there was an explosion at Distory Station. No casualties. As expected. We managed to make it out this time, but keep a strict watch on our surroundings. Do not let anyone get close. Where do you think they will attack us, sir? Somewhere where we slowed down, and a place that would be difficult to repair if it is destroyed. The Grandeza Bridge. It took ten years to build that tunnel. If it's destroyed, the Transcontinental Railroad will be out of commission for quite a while. Currently, there are only passengers in the first and second compartments, located on the third train car. There is one young male in the first compartment, and one middle-aged man in the second. We believe that he is the special envoy. The soldiers are currently stationed from the fourth car and beyond. All right. We will begin our operation now. Go! Yes, sir! Stop wasting time. So their plan must have been to separate our forces. What was that joke? Violet! I will go get the special envoy. The two of you, please remain here. There are some in the back. And I heard noises from the front. That means most of our men must be dead already. I'll go stop the train. You stay and protect the people inside. I understand, sir. Just like I said, you only want orders. It's not true. Yes, it is. All you are is a tool. If I ordered you to slaughter the enemy, you wouldn't hesitate to kill them, right? I will not kill anyone. And I don't need a weapon. So if you're not a tool, then what are you? The maiden soldier of light and Shaflik. We meet again. What happened to that kid in Katrigal after that? Did he die a disgrace? <laughs> There's no reason to get mad. It's not like anybody would mourn his death anyway. Thank you for not... I've seen that on the battlefield before. The battle doll of Light and Shaflik. Why are you doing this? In order to get back the people and things that you've taken from us. 
Are you trying to start another war? Do you honestly feel that the war ever really ended? <laughs> it seems like you know what I'm talking about. You and I, we both had the memories of violence burned into us like scars. And it will never be over. But the war has ended. Like hell it has. We dreamed that the war would end, waiting to receive the glory that was promised to both the living and the dead. But what happened in reality? Our leaders did whatever they were told by the South, and the soldiers who risked their lives to protect the people were scorned, and had stones cast against them. In the end, we were betrayed by everyone, and abandoned. So what's wrong with wanting to destroy everything? I do not wish to kill anyone anymore. Get her! <laughs> Are you all right? What the hell is going on? been strong enough and now you're refusing to kill my brother Gil gave his life and all to protect someone like you I just did not want to kill anymore the major's orders were to live they were not to continue killing tell me something what use is a battle doll that no longer wants to kill that's why you weren't able to protect Gilbert you killed my brother that's why you should die too hurry up and die Major ordered me to live. I wanted to protect him! I did! I wanted to protect him! Brigadier General! Isidore! <laughs> 